Good morning. Today our guests are Maxine and Jim Mekula, who lived in Harwich during the time that we're discussing these days, namely the Second World War or thereabouts. And I'd like to hear about your memories of that time. Now, what it was like, how is it different from today and just, you know, in general. Do you want to go first, Maxine? Or it I, I think she should because she's the rock in our family. <laughs> okay, you're the archivist. Yeah. So I get the honors, but she's the one deserving of <laughs> Who was here. So, did you go to school in Harwich as a yes. younger? Yes, you did. Yes, I did. Okay. We, we were both graduates of Harwich High School. And, and was it the new school? Was it in, in the old, in Brooks Academy? Or no, where was it? it was where then, was it then what is now, oh, what it recently was, the middle school. The, <laughs> what a recent the middle school. school. The middle school. How yes, they, they and that was, uh, I think it was opened in 1939, around really? that time. Really? 37, 1937. Okay. 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 That school in 1939. Okay. And then he went in the army. Okay. Uh, to, the, uh, he and his friends joined the National Guard to protect the Cape Cod Canal, and they oh. all ended up scattered all over the world, anywhere but at the Cape the canal, Cod Canal. But the canal <laughs> survived, didn't it? Right. <laughs> in spite it of that plan. But it was interesting that somebody yeah. thought it needed to be protected. Right. From what I don't know, you know. Well, right. uh, submarines maybe, yeah. you know, something yeah. like that. So, and did he come back to settle yes. in, in, in the yes. Cape also? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you went to that high school as well? Yes. Yes. And I, and I was at the West Bonsville Elementary School mm -hmm. from grade one through six, more or less. Yeah. Uh, our family moved around quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And I lived in other sections of the town of Barnstable, but primarily West Barnstable. And then I started the seventh grade at what was the old Barnstable High School, which is now the St. John Paul. Or oh, yeah, over there by the road. Is that yeah. what it is? Yeah, Some, uh, yeah. something like and, that. And yeah. uh, my mother, who was a housekeeper and cook, had separated from my dad at that point, and she had gotten a job in Howich Port. Uh, mm -hmm. And the, how, the home that she worked in, it had a little apartment connected to it. Mm -hmm. So she had me and my sister come live with her. And that Wasn't was just that prior nice. to World yeah. Harbor, Pearl, Pearl Harbor, Harbor Day in 1941. So you may remember Pearl Harbor Day. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Really, because yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hesitating because I didn't know about it until we went. That was yeah. a Sunday, wasn't it? Right. Until we went back to yeah. school. My parents didn't want to worry us, can you imagine? Mm. Oh. <laughs> right. But we saw planes all day. We knew something was going yeah. on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. But anyway, I fell yeah. in love with the town, and I've yeah, uh, yes. lived here ever, ever since. Ever since, see? Isn't that nice? Yeah, um, yeah. So. so you also remember Pearl Harbor Day, then, oh, too. Oh, yes. Was, as I said, yes. it was a Sunday, as, yeah. I as, I, as I recall hearing. I don't recall the day yeah. <laughs> otherwise, yeah. yeah. I don't, but, I don't remember much about the actual day, but I do remember that it having happened. air raid yeah. air raid alarms and yes. having the blackout stage. Yes. Someone else no has electricity that and oh really? The, uh, what was the what's the story on no power? On because no electricity. All, all, all they wanted everything to be dark and the oh, lights I see. to for be the, out for the drills. Yes, for yeah. the drills. Yeah, Ooh, and yeah, uh, there was an airplane spotting yes. uh, up in uh, the the tower of the what used to be the exchange building. Oh really? Uh, and I used to go up there with my mother. She was a volunteer to go up Imagine. and watch for the German airplanes <laughs> to, the, to arrive. Uh, the whole enemy, but we never we didn't know <laughs> to, in those days. You know? Know. Well, we didn't. There were reported submarines. sightings. Sightings, yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think somebody well, mentioned there was a sighting off Wellfleet yeah, of a submarine. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So you know, we just didn't know how it would yes, unfold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was the stretch between Pearl Harbor Day, and then. Well, prior to that was the war in Europe in, right. in um, right. September of 1939. Mm. Now, did that make any impression on you at all? Did, were you I aware of that? So. Yeah. No, yeah. No, no, it, it didn't. didn't. Uh, yeah, I don't it was think far away and yeah. it didn't seem to yeah. affect us yet. But you then know. came Pearl Harbor and right. things changed yeah. dramatically. Changed. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. once so. the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, then yeah. it was we knew an we're entirely in. different story. Mm -hmm. And did you? Enter the service at yes, some point? Yes, I did. Yeah, I thought After so. I graduated from high school yeah. in 1946, wow. uh, I went in. 
But yeah. at that time, the war in, in Europe, Europe was over. Yeah. And we had signed a peace treaty with Japan. Right, on the Missouri, mm. the, the battleship Missouri yes. right. in New York. Yes, it came to New so York. So I was destined to, when I went into service, I was scheduled to go to Japan mm -hmm. and serve under General MacArthur and do occupation duty. Yeah. There were three of us that enlisted. Uh, From Harwich? Yes, at that time. Oh. We were all very close friends. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we were shipped out to uh, California after a basic training. Yeah. And after we had gone through paratrooper school in Fort Benning, Georgia. And um, we got out to California, and it was I don't know the reason for it, but our orders were switched. And one of us uh, ended up in Japan, and myself and my closest friend uh, stayed in the United States, and we were shipped back across country to Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And that's where we served. Yeah. And now Safe. that I look back on Safe. it, <laughs> now that I look back on it, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was a. I, I'm I'm so pleased it happened because yeah, we yeah. ended up in a fantastic outfit, with some uh, people who had seen an awful lot of service yeah. over in Europe, and had all kinds of medals, and they were just magnificent instructors. Oh, it was just yeah. a pleasure to train under them uh -huh. and serve with them. Mm -hmm. Now, meanwhile, back at home, what were the girls doing <laughs> <laughs> in the same era? You know, well, we were we were going without nylons and uh, yeah. oh, that's <laughs> painting right. our legs to well, yes, make them look yes. like Yes, Remember stockings. the eyebrow pencil down the back? <laughs> yeah, the <scene>? right, right. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Mix, there was gas rationing, so you gas rationing. Yeah, you well, couldn't get very which far. Which didn't now. really mean all that much because we always walked everywhere on bicycles. Or bikes, anyway. bicycles. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and it, there was. It was it was such a different world then. The population was much less. Oh yes. Yeah. And mixing the mixing the coloring into the white oh, oleo. Oh, oh, it, wasn't, it was just <laughs> <laughs> it didn't change the taste though, did it? No, no. it didn't. No. No. It was still like eating grease, uh, yellow no. grease. Yeah, yeah. yeah but some, that's what the I some, guess that was some rationing of meat. Still, and, yes. And, uh, mm -hmm. Products, mm -hmm. sugar. Mm -hmm. Sugar, yeah, but, uh, that was a big one. That well, that was a big one because it affected a lot of people. It affected right. people who like to bake. Yeah, they couldn't throw in cups of sugar right. anymore. Yeah, right, yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. So, well, how was the food in the army? <laughs> I, I, no complaints. No complaints. No, okay, I thought it was pretty good for the okay. most part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, when you returned then to Harwich, and you had been here all along, I assume, what did did you see anything that in the t did you notice anything in town that seemed Different, or when I came, got out yeah. of the service, yeah, um, not really. Uh, mm -hmm. It, um, as I said, you know, it was so different growing up then because none of us had, none of the in the school had cars. Right. Uh, nowadays, everybody oh, has a car. Tell me. Uh, <laughs> and uh, had we nice had bus bike. transportation. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, to and from school, but if you were involved in any after-school activities like athletics, as I was in baseball and basketball, those were the only two sports that were available for the boys to participate. All the girls had was basketball. And but field if you hockey. Oh, remember field <laughs> hockey? Oh God! But if you sticks, sticks. If, they, if you, you played any field. one of those sports mm -hmm. or had any had any after-school activities. Mm -hmm. You had to walk home. Yeah, you're there on was your no own. Bus ride for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and I remember uh, I was on the varsity baseball team, the varsity basketball team. We always had rides uh, to go the to the basketball games. Yeah. Either the teachers would volunteer or the coach had a car. Uh, so we would be able to get to Provincetown or Orleans. Mm -hmm. and, and there were no regional schools in those days. Every yeah. town had their own That's high own. school. Mm -hmm. uh, so there were, the traveling out of town meant you had to get somebody out, who had yeah. a car and was willing to transport you. But I can remember playing a baseball game in Chatham in which cars weren't available. And we had to pedal our bikes All to the way. Chatham <laughs> yeah. to play a baseball game. Without the bike trail. Home. <laughs> Without the bike trail. <laughs> but we brought trail. nothing out yeah, of it because yeah, we right. were on our bikes all the time yeah. anyway. Yeah. We didn't have cars, so we were traveling on our bikes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I know in December 41, right after... Uh, um, Pearl Harbor. My parents bought, I was one of four children, they bought us all bikes right away. 
because mm -hmm. they felt or suspected they had lived through World War One. Of course, mm -hmm. they had they suspected that they'd become scarce with the metal and everything else and the right. rubber petals. So that was a big Christmas yes. <laughs> to get all those Absolutely. bikes, and they they lasted. You know, we Absolutely. repaired them and so forth, mm -hmm. but they lasted through mm -hmm. the, the period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. And field hockey. Where did you play field I didn't, hockey? I didn't oh, play it. Was, it. I just, count your blessings. No, I just <laughs> it was basketball. Didn't play it. Yeah, but, yeah. Whether uh, you were short or tall, you played yeah, basketball. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Right. And it I know, was, I, you know, it was such a small school, and almost everybody played something. Everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That you, to form a and team. It, and everybody needed, knew everybody. Yes, even, yes, that's it. You too. know, the underclassmen. Uh, mm -hmm. You you know most of them. Sure. Sure. Uh, you know, three years above you and three years yeah. below yeah. you when yeah. you're in high yeah. school, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's a whole range. That's no, seven no, years. No, no, no. A lot, yeah. Yeah. A lot of the girls. boys, older boys in high school, especially, you know, seniors and juniors yeah. will mm -hmm. leave and go on the service. Yes, they did. And yeah. there, you know, there was yeah. a different attitude yeah. about oh, yeah. going in the service oh, yeah. in those days. So, and yeah. oh, yes. while we were going through the high school during the, mm -hmm. the war, uh, we had a big turnover of teachers because yeah. oh. the men were being Drafted into the service, so we would lose them. Mm -hmm. uh, we had an outstanding math teacher, Andy Weren't Nelson, his name was. Oh. And his wife also taught uh, in our school, Ellen mm -hmm. and Nelson. They both had passed away. Uh, just a magnificent teacher, and he had to go in the service. Oops, oops. Cut. Where did this? We need to fix this um, from? <laughs> Jim's, what do you call it? Jim's mic. They do come undone. Well, what happened to the, oh, it fell out of the clip. The clip's still on. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you'll never make it in primetime TV <laughs> on this day. Yeah. All right, thank okay. you. <laughs> We're going to resume about Keep Mr. Nelson. Now. Yes, I you Put your hands up to your face when you're talking. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, okay. Look at that observation. Nagging wife. Just tell me oh. when we can start again. And so you were saying about Mr. Nel Mr. Nelson and Mr. But he was uh, yeah. just, you know, one of the number of teachers a, yeah. that we lost that went into the service. So there was quite a turnover yeah, in different yeah. subjects. Some we stayed with right, right through, through mm -hmm. school. Did you and know Mr. Were, Nelson? They were the, yes. And they uh, were, were the lucky, women teachers. You know, to have yes. a good math teacher yes. and the girls, you know. Yes. But in spite of that, um, when we look back on our high school education, mm -hmm. we had some outstanding teachers. It's, yeah. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? Uh, and, and I suppose the kids today and, and have their favorites, but you know. The, the, sure. the ones that were our favorites were the ones who were the, the sternest. Uh, yes, strict. Maintained the yes. most discipline yeah, in, the, strict. in the classroom. Not just, sure. you know, any old uh, thing. You know, at the time, knows. we didn't think so. But no, looking but, back <laughs> but the, 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 you the discipline. You learn more from yeah, them than yes, you did. Because you're paying work. attention. You know, right. you, have, yes. you have to do your homework and all those good yeah, things, yeah. right? So... Well, let's see. Now, you observed the, ra the rationing of things because you were here, mm -hmm. and you were away. You, of course, you were in the service, weren't no, you? I no, didn't, not yet. I didn't not go yet. in until go we before. graduated from high school. Okay. So you, then I you, went in. So did you see any, let's say, consequences from the rationing of food or goods or anything? Um, or was life any more difficult or not, really? I, I don't believe so. Yeah, uh, yeah. We adjusted to That's these it. things very quickly. Yeah, yeah. And at that age, you know, we were more involved in our schooling. Living your teenage and years. And, and, just, and, and just enjoying, yes. enjoying right. growing up and enjoying life. Yes, uh, yes. And there th wasn't that all wasn't that much to do. Mm -hmm. So when we got home from school, there were all kinds of things to do outdoors. You know, yeah, we would yeah. either play football mm -hmm. or get a group together to play some baseball or basketball. Mm -hmm. So that... You know, practically every You're day. Busy, yeah. We didn't busy. come home and sit in front of the TV. No, uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> work these technology <laughs> gadgets. Get, game, yeah, day. the things. It was radio in those days. Yeah, radio. Yes. Oh, and, uh, yes. <laughs> Inner Sanctum and Buck Oh, Rogers remember those? And, yeah. <laughs> and and no yes, yes. yes. Television came along a little later. Later, yeah. yeah. In the 40s, yeah. I, late yeah. 40s, yeah. yeah. But there were like 15-minute segments, remember, right. on the radio? Right. And the first the five effects. was recap from last from yesterday. Yeah. And then the, the last five mm. were what's coming tomorrow. You've got a five-minute <laughs> yeah. advancement on the story, yeah. it seems right. to be, day by day, right. yes. 
Oh, yeah. And some of those radio shows were just outstanding. And you oh, had to fun. use your imagination. That's, that's, I was yeah. thinking when, when that you too. listen to them. Yeah. Uh, yeah the shadow. Uh, shadow knows. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who knows what the shadow <laughs> yeah, knows? Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> My mother the, would find us listening to those shows, and she'd turn it off, turn off the <laughs> dial. I said, I said, Mama, Mama, you know. And she'd say, Well, I don't want any of that, you know bad stuff or whatever. I said, it's worse not knowing how it ended. I yeah. want to know who the killer was, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know the, but yeah. they were gripping. They yeah. were gripping yeah. those but radio programs. You know, the, yeah. the, the biggest treat for us uh, growing up uh, was either going to the, stopping at the drugstore on the way home from the bus, getting off, yes. going and having a frap or a, a milkshake. A frap, I haven't heard of that and, in and a long playing time. the pinball machine or, oh, or yes. putting money into the uh, radio, mm -hmm. the Record player. Oh yeah, the the uh, uh, yeah. Or or going to the movies. Um, yes, yes. We had the modern theater in Howishport. That's down. And the the building is still there. Yes, it, it is. Yeah. Right. Yes, yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, you know, there were two bowling alleys in town. Wow. Uh, <laughs> where the Getty station in Howishport is. Yes. Uh, it's going to be Union soon, but it's Getty now. Yeah. That well, when we were growing up was owned by a man named Joe Ellis. That was, and it was okay. a gas station. It then became Young's. But when Joe Ellis had it, he had three, a three-lane bowling alley in back. Oh, where, like it, the garages it, or something. Yeah. 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 Right. And then further down the, uh, on the west end of town, uh, where mm -hmm. there's now a batting cage and... Yes, on the I curve. Mean, kind yeah. Of, yeah. Well, yeah. there was a, a bigger bowling alley there. Wow. That had, I think, like six lanes or so. And it was all candle pin bowling. So we did a lot of bowling. Yeah, uh, yeah, just healthy sports yeah. kind of, yeah. Did you go bowling? Did the girls go to yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I tried, but yeah. <laughs> it was no good. Yeah. <laughs> doing yeah. it. I think yeah. it was 10 cents a string, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, that's <laughs> it. The movies were, you yeah. know, not the much more. Were quarter. Dime. Yeah, dime. 12, yeah. 12 yeah. cents where I lived. Oh, hey, yeah. you were. <laughs> and then <laughs> and as we got a little older and started getting our licenses, uh, mm -hmm. every once in a while, uh, somebody would get their parents' car. In the evening, and you take a trip to Hyannis. Oh, wow. And that was always Hyannis a big treat. Was a big deal. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All the way <laughs> downtown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, it was so, a simpler life, but a, it was, to me, but it was a, it was a, a good more life. enjoyable life. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. We, were, we were spending a little time with our youngest daughter yesterday, who's oh. now <laughs> in her 50s. Yes. And uh, talking about. Uh, we used to live right across from Brooks Park. Okay. And we had six children, three mm -hmm. boys, three girls. Nice. <laughs> and uh, when they came home from school, you know, they would immediately go out and play. And we had lots of yes. children in the neighborhood, yes. so they had lots to do. And you never had to worry about no where they where, were, where they no. are, where there were any predators out right. there. Right. Uh, they or could danger. go anywhere and yep. play. And yep. every once in a while, when it came dinner time or supper time, whichever you want to call it, she would sometimes ring a bell. Oh, good, <laughs> good. Yeah, we had a patio yeah, bell yeah, that they yeah. could yeah. hear in Brooks yes, Park. Yes, and yes. they knew that was time, time to come, to come home, home and eat. Well, but you know, of something that doesn't change, I lived elsewhere in Harwich for many years, and there were there was a family that started with a baby, and then mm -hmm. that girl is now college age, and there were three, there were four all together. And they would get off the school bus. I could time the, the day, the time, and the bus would let them out. And this is just a couple yeah. of years ago. And they would run around the house to let off steam. I think they'd drop <laughs> off the books and then chase each other all around the house just to run and kind of let off that energy. So that yeah. hasn't changed yeah. of after mm. school. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> you know, the sense mm. of relief and mm. release. Getting you know? out. So yeah. it, it, it came back to me that, you know, we'd, yeah. we'd get going too, you know. But that's a healthy thing to do. Right. It's a spontaneous, it's uh, the body calling, you know, you want right. to stretch and run right. and shout a little bit, yeah. And do the, all those things. Oh my goodness, yeah. So, is the house still standing in which you lived at that time? Yeah, still. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. both of us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I go back uh, um, every once in a while, and it was on Church Street in West Barnstable, and the house is still there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's changed a little bit, and there are far more trees around it, so it's a little more difficult to see from yeah. Church Street. Uh, but it's still that, there. That's interesting they say more trees because I think the Cape was pretty well, before our time, pretty well stripped of trees for, uh, for the wood, for boat right. building. Right. Mm -hmm. And then it has gradually reforested. So you would think, oh, over time yeah. more trees were cut down. But they have regrown that's in certain true. places and filled in, yeah. you know, filled Especially in. Especially, I think, on the north side of the Cape. 
Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true too. Is still beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Although th they they had a lot of losses yeah. in uh, Hurricane Bob, well, but right. they're back. At, you know, mm -hmm. it's yeah. back again. Yeah. And mm -hmm. when I travel through Six A and West Barnstable, mm -hmm. uh, after you come off the Mid Cape Highway, if you're going that way, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then take the exit to go into West Barnstable, yeah, right. you go by the community college, the YMCA. Oh yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That is, a, you know, there's a big, a <laughs> big change there because yeah. that was just woods when we were growing yeah, up. Yeah. But once you get on the 6A in West Barnstable and travel 6A, it's almost exactly the same today as it was when I was growing up yeah. in the late well, 20s. It's a protected. I think it's a protected area historically. Yeah, 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 yeah the National Register, yeah. right? And yeah. there is development in West Barnstable, but it is off 6A. Yeah. Uh, so you have to take some of the side the roads. The Old King's Highway, isn't that yeah. what it's called? Right. right. The Old yeah. King's yeah. Highway. I think of that sometimes with the Old Queen Anne Road. You know, oh, like right. Is it the old road or was it old yeah. the old queen? The old queen. <laughs> yeah. That sort of thing too. But we used to do things uh, in the winter time. Uh, there were no skating rinks. As you know, no, but uh, so ponds. we skated on the bogs or the ponds mm -hmm. when the ice was heavy enough. Yeah, and I remember our first pair of skates. We would crush cans and use oh, cans that would stick to your, <laughs> make them stick to your shoes, shoes yeah. and go out and skate on cans because we didn't have the money to buy, buy skates. skates. Right. But did you have a strap or a ribbon or no, shoelaces? They, you they just, just had to rely on the can staying <laughs> to stay, stay up with your foot. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Uh, But uh, it was a crude that's way. Simple. Yeah, but you skating. could do it. Yeah, yeah. And it, it was so common in those days, if you were able to go out and skate, uh, to have bonfires on the ice. Yes, 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 uh, cocoa. And, you know, <laughs> you were allowed to do that. Sure, uh, sure. And yeah. uh, it was just so much fun. Yes, you know, safety was, yeah. you know, not overlooked, but yeah. it wasn't yeah. stressed yeah. Mm -hmm. as much as it is and, today. And for the most part, I know when I moved to Howitz, you knew all the placemen. They knew who you were. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, were the good ones. And the yes, <laughs> yeah, The good yeah. children. Right right. Now. When you mentioned the trees, that took me back to something that somebody else has m mentioned to me, is that when they returned from war time, that... Trees on Sisson Road had been decimated by the elm disease. Oh, Dutch elm disease. Do you remember that at all? How I the trees looked? I remember it more up in right in the Howard Center near the, okay. near the library in the town hall. Now. Oh, yeah. Uh, there were just it was, it was used to be like a big, tunnel, big, like a big shady like uh, a arc kind of yeah, yeah. drive through it, yeah. and they were all wiped out kind yeah. of yeah, yeah. yeah. But that person had been in the military, and when they returned, that's what struck them uh, immediately. Yeah. It was the look of the town had changed yeah. mm -hmm. just because of something that had nothing to do with the war, right. but it occurred during the 40s, right. the mm -hmm. early 40s, yeah. yeah. So, and then uh, something that's the first time I've thought of this, when, uh, when the war was over, did um, any people from Europe come into the community to settle? There were quite a few Displaced persons from from Eastern Europe, particularly, but they were looking for mm -hmm. they were mm -hmm. came into I re remember, refugees. I guess I is the word. That. I don't either. In, yeah, uh, so maybe that didn't Howard. happen yeah, here. Not, at least not in. I think I think if it happened, it pro they probably came to Hyannis. To Hyannis, yeah, the Falmouth, big town, the big <laughs> the, the big city. Big city. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there were more right. opportunities right. possibly yeah. for work right. and so forth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Yeah. And indeed, now that I say that, did work opportunities change? People seem to have been pretty busy during wartime, in that there were jobs that needed That's to be true. done, mm -hmm. and That's women, true. in fact, got started yes. in, in some career um, things. Yeah. But um, did that fall fall back at the end of the war, or did, did employment pick up a little bit? I don't really remember. Yeah, okay. If you weren't you involved, you, you wouldn't, know, you know, um, yeah. You know, we were there late were teens, maybe, you know, yeah. and there was always a, a big influx of people for summer work. Okay. And, and all the the hotels, most yeah. of them mm -hmm. had residences yeah. where yes, the young yes, people yes, came like and dorms stayed. Yes, 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 like dorms, even dorms. Yeah, type yeah, yeah, yeah. And and back yeah. in those days, our our summers, uh, July was considered the blue collar workers' okay month, in which people would vacation on the Cape. Or, yeah. Uh, Crafts people wore blue collar yeah. work. They were yeah. tradesmen yeah. or Craftsmen, whatever. Yeah. July was the month known as the white collar month, in right. which the richer people would come, and okay. many of them would come and chauffeur the cars. Oh, 
Uh, <laughs> well, they were the big hotels, Hotel Belmont and the Melrose. Yeah, just, yeah. Just to Snow name two right here in town. Sure. Snow Inn, La yeah, Crosse yeah, Inn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they all came with their, some came by with train. Their and then with their netting trunks. Yeah. And, and at that time, it's now been destroyed, but there was the, the Belmont Hotel. Yeah. And now they're condominium. Yeah, the property has been but, trended. Uh, very, Tons of very well-known people, people that were in on stage in yeah. Hollywood. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember the president of GM came and yes. stayed there. Oh, uh, nice, nice, yeah. And then, you know, well-known huh. people like yes, Fred I Allen. And, oh, I remember Fred and, Allen. And, and, yeah. and a comedian. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. and then, of course, they came to the Playhouse uh -huh. in Dennis, and they would stay, some of them would stay at the and Belmont. They, okay. And, uh, what is now the over. Irish pub was the old Chase House restaurant. Oh. And they used to come and eat the I waitress there. When oh, I was so you got to see them in yes, high school yes, yes. for a couple of summers. <laughs> yeah. and, that's uh, I mean, that's yeah. kind of exciting <laughs> to see yeah. people from the, it was. Out, the other world, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. 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 kind of and it really them. was another world. Yeah, yeah, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, yes. And I, I, I think when you got old enough, you were expected uh, to work. Yes, uh, at least during the summer months. Mm -hmm. And I would work after school. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to have a, a First National uh, in Howard's Port, right on the corner of Cross Street and Main Street, uh, which Pizza? is now a pizza yeah. shop. George's Pizza, right. Yeah. Yeah. right away. Right. And th yeah. there were no supermarkets. Right. You know, yeah. Yeah. Shaw's didn't exist. Uh, uh, yeah, North Stop and Shop. Stop yeah. and Shop. So there was A and P, I think, was yes. the business. Yes. yes. Uh, there was an A and P. Yeah. Was that down? There was one down where CVS is now. Yeah. Yes. But uh, I don't know if it was yeah. always there or it early was on. There you know, for quite a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three uh, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, we one back. of my <laughs> very first jobs, I, first of all, my very first job I had was caddying at the Howard Sport Golf Course. Oh, yes. And caddies they were, yeah. Caddies don't, don't even <laughs> exist anymore. Don't Everybody they? goes I, around I in the cart. I lost track. I didn't know that. Yeah, you get the yeah. little cart, I guess. Yes, but we, I caddied. Oh, and then I think caddies. Oh, from there, great. I probably, when I got into high school, anyway, I worked in the First National. Okay. Uh, after school and on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. And... Um, uh, work and there started. were jobs like that for, yes, for young yeah. people, for yeah. kids. And, and and so yeah, yeah. yeah, I was in the proudest yeah. department, and then they moved me to the fish meat Look department. at that. Growth. <laughs> <laughs> career career <laughs> growth. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then I worked, there was a florist shop in town right on the corner of Bank Street, and um, a small florist. Oh. And uh, uh, I worked there for during winters off and on, doing inside painting. And okay. In the Somebody summertime. I know. It wasn't. Europe. It wasn't a problem getting a summer job. No, it was. Look at that. Yeah. 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 And we well, had, you could earn you could earn enough money to do yeah, something with yeah, it. Yeah, I yeah, think right. you, you had you wanted a little to buy spending if you, money. Yeah, if yeah. you needed clothes. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, well, but nowadays, the young uh, college students, particularly, really can't save enough on the uh, hourly wages to oh. go to oh, pay oh, for college, oh, and so they, they don't want some of these jobs. The tuition is no. just yeah, outrageous. Right. So they don't want the mm. hour summer jobs no. for yeah. that reason. You know, yeah. that's why we have We've to look a, elsewhere for right. employees. Uh, one of our 13 grandchildren oh, yeah. uh, is gr uh, graduating from Montemoy this year. Oh, my. How nice. And, uh, so <laughs> one down, <laughs> another yeah. one down. Right. Right. He's, he's the last. No, we have one more coming along yeah. next year mm -hmm. in Auburn. He, goes, he lives in Auburn. But... Uh, he applied yeah. to a number of schools that accepted in a number, but he's picked Lake, uh, uh, he's picked Champlain College in Illinois? Burlington, Vermont. Oh, Burl okay. So it's a very, it's oh, a small Champlain, school, I mean, but a yeah. very good school. Sure. But sure. even there, the tuition, oh, the, the, uh, the but he's cost getting of quite a ridiculous. financial package. Yeah. And he got a good scholarship. Uh, so good. that all helps. Good student, yeah. But if, I don't know, fam I know of families who have mortgaged their house. Yeah. 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 And they student loans, the they just, Yes, yeah, they have to take oh. out student loans and then spend yeah, the rest yeah. of their lives trying to pay, pay it back. back. Whereas it was doable in our day mm -hmm. to, to yes, it was. save enough for the yeah. job and, and, and one make one a of partial the, scholarship. Yeah, one of the yeah. reasons that I went into the, the service after I got out of the ah. high school was because there was a GI, GI Bill, Bill, which picked up yeah. most it of right. my college education. Yeah. That, cha that more than people realize that yeah. changed America oh, because yes. it created a whole... Yeah. layer of people mm -hmm. that had that could advanced education yeah. without yeah. the money. Yeah. 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 And that it also kept such young men out of the labor market right after the war when right. the troops were returning right. and would have found no jobs. So they were able to get jobs while the next layer of or level of young men were 
kept busy in college at right. no cost. And so the, it was the making of it America in that post-war mm -hmm. period, in my, in my opinion. <laughs> you know, it was a, you know, a, double, a double benefit, mm -hmm. a dual thing, yeah, yeah. So, well, I think we could go on and on. Oh, I can I see know. that now. <laughs> if, if there's anything good yeah. about aging, growing yes. older, it's the memories that is you it, have. Is it? Yeah, it's, amazing. it's amazing when you get together yep. with people your own age, and you, you think sit there back and you, you reminisce, talk back, you know, and, and talk about your health. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, yes, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And we can go morning. back. And we can do it all. But you know, I I did not live in this area during those years. But to just you know tickle my memory, I started making a little list, and I'm on second full two full pages, single spaced of things I remember from that period. Mm -hmm. And so there's there was a lot going on. But it could be that I've learned with younger sisters and brothers that. Oh, they don't remember that at all. But you're a different <laughs> age. At, at different ages, different things kind right. of stay with mm -hmm. you, you know, or mm -hmm. impress you. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Well, as I say, maybe we'll do another <laughs> another <laughs> war or something another time. This has been wonderful. And thank you so much for coming, oh. Jim Nicola and Maxine Nicola from Harwich. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, thank you. We enjoyed it.